basically Israel has the advantage right now. This wasn't true initially in the opening phases um, of the of the violent part of the conflict. Um, you had uh, Hamas was really on the offensive, you know, reining in thousands of rockets. Um, and then finally, uh, Israel responded uh, very aggressively um, in, in Gaza. And right now, it's actually Hamas that wants a ceasefire after getting its licks in. Um, but uh, Netanyahu wants to keep going in order to prevent Hamas from being able to launch the same frequency of attacks down the road, say, in a month from now. Um, so Israel really wants to make sure that it doesn't just so-called, you know, mow the lawn, but that it really attrits Hamas's capability. Um, and so Israel wants more time, Hamas wants less time, and so far, Washington um, has really, I would say, held back. It hasn't deployed a very high-level envoy like we've seen in previous years, like a Dennis Ross to the conflict. There's no real discussion about a, a two-state solution. Um, out of Biden, we're hearing things like, um, we would like the violence, we would wish for the violence to come to an end. We hope that both sides avoid civilians, but there isn't strong um, pressure or rebuke right now uh, against Israel, which of course favors Israel in order to settle the scores with Hamas.